They said you wouldn't make it so far Hello, my name is Aaron Brown. I'm a theater teacher here uh, at Dawson High School in Paramount, Texas. And I'm talking to you about Shelly. Uh, I had a great opportunity to work with Shelly in the first uh, show we do this year, which was the musical Footloose. Uh, she was an active member of the cast. She came in, she learned her dances. Uh, she came in a little bit late uh, because of her transferring to Dawson High School. But it, by the time of performance, she had no idea she had had four weeks less than everybody else. She worked extremely hard. She uh, is smart, uh, very talented singer and dancer and actress. Uh, she picked up everything, was a great member of the team, which is even more important than being talented. She would help with scene changes. She went on uh, for our next production of Peter Pan. She worked with us backstage uh, with all the flight stuff, which was a huge safety concern. So we needed extremely responsible people to help uh, making sure that everyone would be safe as they flew. Uh, she's a great team member, always on time, always hardworking, always smiling and willing to help. She'd be a great asset to you and your program. You work real hard and you know exactly what you want and need, so believe. And you can never give up, you can reach your goals, just talk to your soul and say, My name is Tim Monroe. I'm a, a theater teacher here at Dawson High School and I uh, wanted to say how fortunate it has been that Shelly has come into our lives the last uh, couple of months. She's a great team player, real talented kid, real pretty, a uh, pretty good dancer and a pretty good singer and so uh, she's helped us out a lot and she's been a joy to have her out. at parties talking about stupid things with stupid females. I want to be where you are with the men laughing and joking and drinking and smoking. I want to join in. I can't do the things you ask of me. I'm not like your other wife. I'm not cut out for the household chores. I cannot stand the monotonous, endless routines and the mindless activities involved. Who gives a damn if the doorknobs aren't polished? Why make the bed just to sleep in it again? I can't see the point. It doesn't make sense. You do it if you want to. Hire someone. Hire Hillary. Anything. I don't care. Just get the pressure off my back. I do my best for you, don't I? It's not like I'm lazy or stupid or incompetent. I starve myself for you. I try to get my fat bum down and my small tits up. I exercise. I know I'm no great cordon blue chef, but I have a go. And the thanks I get? Have you any idea what it feels like to drool over cookbooks every day? fantasizing about delicious recipes that I'm not allowed to eat in case I get fat. And even if I could eat them, I could have bloody well cooked them for the life of me because I'm so crap. What happened to me? I was young and sexy. You wanted me. Now I'm a nervous wreck. What, what happened? Where 
did I go wrong?